My name is Mike Wooten, and I'm the president of Cornerstone Estate Services. Thank you for joining us and your interest in this important topic of estate planning. Let's start with some basic thoughts. First, what is an estate? Well, simply put, an estate is everything you own. This will include your home, bank accounts, retirement plans, investments, annuities, life insurance policies, cars, as well as personal property furniture, jewelry, antiques, heirlooms that have been passed down for generations. Second, who should have an estate plan? Well, we believe every Christian should have an estate plan. No matter the size of your estate, everyone needs to have some type of end-of-life planning in place. Now, wills and living trusts are the two most commonly used documents in planning. As there are many differences in the effectiveness of these documents, family needs should be considered prior to setting up your estate plan. Making good, informed decisions will help ensure that the plan is right for you. The decision on which estate plan best meets your needs should be made between you and an attorney. Nearly 60% of Americans don't even have a basic will, let alone something more comprehensive. There are all kinds of reasons for this oversight. Most people feel like they will get around to it someday. The problem is for many of us, someday never comes, and your family is left with a legacy of bad feelings and attorney's fees. It's been our experience at Cornerstone that money tends to bring people's true character to the surface. Even with a will, your estate is subject to the probate process. In some cases, this is a long and frustrating process, and this process can be expensive. A typical will would cost a family between $500 to $1,500. Since most wills take about a year to probate, you could see as much as eight dollars or $10,000 in attorney's fees and court costs, sometimes more, sometimes less. The other option is a revocable living trust. This is a legal entity that you put together while you're alive and healthy. The trust then becomes the owner of your assets and you own the trust. There's no difference in the way you conduct your day-to-day -day affairs. You still own everything. You simply own things in the name of your trust. One of the advantages of a revocable living trust is that upon your passing, all of the assets owned by the trust pass through to your heirs without the need for probate. This can be a significant advantage to your children. The denomination recognized the need for our families to have end-of-life planning documents put together. We started working with Christian lawyers and judges and business people. We set out to find the most advantageous and simple way for our families to protect themselves. One of the things that became readily apparent in our research was that most families did not want to put their loved ones through probate. And because of that, the revocable living trust became a better option for most of our people. And to this point, about 2,500 families have enacted a plan with the majority of those utilizing a revocable living trust. Now, I'm not an attorney. I can't tell you what to use or what not to use, but I can tell you for me and my family, we chose the revocable living trust. The typical cost for a revocable living trust plan would be approximately $4,000. And this would include all of the additional documents, such as powers of attorney, advanced medical directives, HIPAA documents, pour over wills, deed transfers, etc. Here's a unique advantage for Free Will Baptist Church members. The foundation has negotiated a fee that represents about a 30% discount from the normal fees. We're able to put a comprehensive plan together for our people with the help of a qualified attorney for $2,700. The initial deposit is only $300 and balance at delivery of the plan or the Free Will Baptist Foundation will finance our church members interest-free over the course of two years at $100 a month. The Free Will Baptist Foundation doesn't do this to make a profit. We're a ministry within our church designed to help our church members. One of the lifelong aspects of estate plans is the need to be reviewed periodically. As part of the Free Will Baptist estate plan, we will reach out yearly to encourage church members to keep their plans up to date and assist if any changes need to be made. Our team will help the family in handling estate matters by request, including incapacitation, death, or the final settling of the estate. There is no additional cost for the lifetime support and family assistance to settle the estate. 
Through the Free Will Baptist Estate Plan, the foundation will be with you every step of the way. In summary, who needs the Free Will Baptist Estate Plan? Anyone who might become incapacitated, anyone who wants to simplify things for their heirs, anyone who wants to leave a gift for church or ministry, anyone who wants to keep the government out of their business, anyone who will pass away. We want you to protect yourselves. We want you to protect your family. Your next step is simple. Contact us directly at 678-777-7283. We have planners ready to assist you. Every family is different and we need to focus on your personal situation. An estate plan is the best gift you can leave for your loved ones. You'll never regret planning for your future.